If you are struggling with sample spaces, you're making too big a deal out of it. A sample space is a list. It's just a list. Let's, for example, use a everyday list, like a grocery list. So I got this list of items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice little short list given to me to go in a grocery shop. Let's say I forget to get two of these six things. All right, tried to memorize the list. I can't remember two of them. What are all the possible ways that I could have two things from that list forgotten? Okay, that's the kind of list we're making. So I'm gonna call apples A, spaghetti S, lettuce L, tomatoes T, ground beef G, and milk M, just to make my list writing easier. I can forget the apples and the spaghetti. I could forget the apples and the lettuce. I could forget the apples and the tomatoes. I could forget the apples and the ground beef. I could forget the apples. Please pardon the interruption. Thank you. I could forget the apples and the milk. All right, that's all my possibilities if apples is one of the things I forgot. And this is what I mean about being systematic. All right, first write out all the ways that you could forget or all the ways that you could use your first item, then move to the second item. Spaghetti. I already have one way that I can forget spaghetti. Spaghetti with apples. What are the other ways that I can forget spaghetti? Spaghetti with lettuce. Tomatoes. Ground beef, milk. How many ways can I forget lettuce? I already forgot lettuce with the apples. I already forgot lettuce with the spaghetti, but I could forget lettuce with the tomatoes, or the ground beef, or the milk. How many ways can I forget the tomatoes? I already did apples and tomatoes, lettuce and tomatoes, spaghetti and tomatoes. So I can still forget tomatoes with the ground beef, and I can still forget tomatoes with the milk. How many different ways can I forget ground beef? Apples, spaghetti, lettuce, tomatoes, or I can forget the ground beef with the milk. That's done. Milk, I already have all the ways. Apples, spaghetti, lettuce, tomatoes, ground beef. Okay? This is an organized list of every possible way for me to forget two things. I, it felt like at first it was gonna take a long time to make the list because there were a lot of apples, but with each successive count after I cross one word off, less and less and less, right? There's only 15 possible ways for me to forget two things off of this list. What's the probability that I forgot the ground beef? All right, probability of D. I look through my list. One, two, three, four, five ways to forget the ground beef. 15 ways to forget two items. All right, 33%. That's the probability that I forget, that I use the G in my list, All right, that I forgot the ground beef. I could ask a different question. What's the probability that I forget two fruits and vegetables? That'll be a little tougher for me. I need to look through apple and lettuce and maybe circle them. Apple and tomato, lettuce and tomato. All right, no, no. <laughs> Three ways to forget two fruits and vegetables, 15 total ways, three divided by 15 times 100, 20% 20, 20 chance that I forget two fruits and vegetables. Anyway, that's sample spaces, organized lists. I know you want to see a harder one, more difficult than this. So, what if I got more items? Alright, All right, we got the letters from the word rabbit. We're going to take four letters. 
Four letters. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll take we'll take just three letters. Okay. There's actually more ways to take three letters out of the word rabbit than there are to take four. So we got two letter B's. So I'm gonna label them. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna label it uh, B1 and B nothing. Systematic list. Same way. Start with your first three letters. R A B1. Okay. Switch this last letter until you've gone through all the possibilities with these first two letters. R A B2. R A I. R A T. All right. That's all the possibilities with an R and an A. Now, I'm done with R A. I'm going to start with R B1. Last combination I can make with letter R is R I T. All right, that's it. All the all the ways I can take the R and A I, the R in the first B, the R in the second B, the R and the I. Done with my R. And now I'm gonna begin with begin with my A. All right. So we already have some of the ways. Right? We have a lot of the ways that we can take an A, but we can also take All right. All the ways I can take A with B1. Including that one up there. Always, I can take A with B2. Okay, notice when I say systematic, right? I'm being systematic. I'm, I'm, I'm starting with this A and this B1, and I'm marching across. Okay, and then I'm starting with this A and this B2, marching across. I'm going to start with the A and the I, and there's just one more that I can write. Right, that's all my possibilities with the letter A. Now, double checking, right? I should have the same number of ways up here using an A as I do with an R. So for the R, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ways to use the R. I should have ten ways up here to use the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ways to use that. All right, same same is going to be true for each of these letters. The thing is. There's not 60 ways because uh, some of these some of these get counted would get counted twice if I if I just multiplied six times ten. All right, so we're up to our letter B1. We can take B1, B2, and I. We can take B1, B2, and T. And that's everything that we can do with. B1 and B2, and we can also do B1, B1, I, and T, okay? It's all my possibilities for using B1. Double check again. Do I really have 10 up here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's only three letters left, so that's my last that's my last possibility. I can take the B, the I, and the T. Okay. Total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 ways that we can take three letters from this set. Follow-up questions. Probability. What's the probability of being able to make a word. All right, I asked that on your paper. Probability of being able to make a word with the three letters. Well, this this will make a word, bar. Also, this will make bar. That you can rearrange to make air. This one says rat or tar or art. 
tab is a word. <laughs> Tia is a word in Spanish, but uh, we're, we're just going to stick with English right now. Tia, A, A, T, I, I. All right, I don't think I can make one out of that. Bit is a word. Bib is a word. B I A A B I. I B A. I don't think so. No, no. Rib. I can make rib as well. Um. B I. Tab again. All right. I think I think the ones that I have stars next to. And if I was wrong, right? It's not the end of the world in terms of practice paper. Even, even in terms of a test, if I can tell what you are doing and see that it's a little mistake, you just missed something, no big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven ways to make work. So, eleven out of twenty. Or fifty-five percent. Okay? That's sample spaces. That's organized lists.